guys, welcome to another episode of Two Beards Pints. Obviously, uh, we are not in a brewery. We're not at Seven Seas. Uh, as far as I can tell. Um, you know, practicing good social distancing measures. Six feet, bro. Six oh, feet. Fuck. Shit. Oh, you know that. Whatever. Whatever you got, I got, and vice versa at this point. Um, so, what we did was stopped by Seven Seas, bought all of their canned beers, <laughs> and not like their old stock, don't worry, we left some on the shelves, uh, but every beer that they have in stock, and uh, we'll just do those for the time being because we don't really know the state of things. Nope. Things are getting crazy, man. So here we are. <laughs> things are Things are only increasingly getting more intense. But we'll keep you updated on that stuff in the podcast and what our plans are as we kind of go along. Yeah. Because these are our short, five minute long things. Fair so, enough. What are we drinking? We're drinking Seven Seas' Root Parrot. Um, it's a nice, solid, like, go to IPA, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. It's like nice, like, yeah, it's, just, it's good. Like, you see that at a party, and that's probably one of your first grabs. So, before we go too much into the taste, I just had a thought while I was kind of smelling it, tasting it a little bit, yeah. Uh, thinking about what I'm going to rate the beer, just kind of thoughts it right off the bat. Yeah. Comfort food, mm-hmm. but IPA. I'd say that's fair. Like it, it's not like, uh, like a, like what we talked about with, um, Sam Adams Rebel IPA, we talked about like the Sierra Nevada Pale where they're just kind of like standards. I think this like kind of just takes me back of like first getting into IPAs like it's yeah. just nice and hoppy. It's got a very full body. It's yes, just, like strong. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I'm totally with you there. A uh, lot, a lot of strong flavors going on with this. Um, and we even mentioned too at the beginning where it's like 70 IBUs, really. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like I, I, I mean, I've just 75, I think, right? Yeah. You know what it is? You said 70. Did I not say 75? You said 70. I'm 75 high. IBUs. High. 5.9%. I'm sorry. I'm so high. Yeah. Um, 75 IBUs. And uh, we're like, that seems a little high. And like, I've had it relatively recently. And then chasing it again, I was like, uh, it's, it's a bit hoppy. I mean, it is. It's a bit hoppy. It is. Yeah. Uh, I'm not mad about it. So, um, but yeah, I'm with you. It's just one of those like go-to beers, kind of a... I don't know. I don't like think of it as like one of their staples, but I guess it really is. Yeah, it is their like staple. So, yeah, I like it. Um, Other things about it, it's uh, quite like warm. Yes. And, like it's not like bright and citrusy and floral. It's like very like caramel tones, kind of like I described it as like orange bitters. Kind of on the back end, mm, so, like, yeah. it's kind of got like that syrupy caramelized orange to it. That's a good way to put it with bitters, honestly. That's very interesting. Um, no, it does. It, it has a very, and it like, it's weird because it has this like hoppy crispness to it, but it has a pretty like medium thick body as well. Yeah. So it, it, it sits relatively heavy with you. Like if it wasn't so thick, it would be like a crisp, probably like a little juicy beer, but like it's yeah. just got those ambery tones to it. Absolutely. Which, uh, yeah, I, it, it, I don't know. Like, because alcohol wise, it's not super heavy. It's just like the feel and the taste of it that's heavy. Yep. So, um, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much all I got. So. That's, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think we're good to go ahead and rate it and <laughs> so get out of here. Uh, it's kind of back and forth on this one. We're uh, running to do this and then record a two beards plays. So, you know, check that out if you haven't yet. But yes, please. All right. I'm going to go. Oh, shit. (laughs) I actually, I thought you wrote 3.5. Okay. And uh, and so I was like, no, I I think it's a little better than right down the middle. And so 3.6. And turns out I went 3.6. So. It's a good beer. Like it's it's good. It's you know prob- it's a little bit higher than medium the you know middle of the pack. It's, yeah, it's a strong beer. Uh, I think for what it is, I would have liked it to be on the more crisp side. Yep. 
Um, yeah. Especially because they like to me, this is so close to the balls deep. Yeah, so the balls deep is a little less citrusy, um, a little less hoppy. So I like to me, it's just the the balls deep is the better version of this, and this just doesn't differentiate itself enough, or maybe vice versa. I don't know. Right. Yeah. But. No, I feel that. Um, yeah, there's there's just something about it. I don't know if it's like the crispness or just the lack of like juiciness in there or something. I mean, I'm not asking for any more hazies. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But I just want like a little bit of something uh, where, like you said, this kind of airs almost on like a double IPA kind of a taste. Yep. Um, but still sits a little lighter than than like a double IPA. And with the can, it's like nice and got this like lime green, and I'm like thinking spring. Yeah. And the beer doesn't taste like spring, right? It tastes yeah. like fall. It's fall. It's fall for sure. <laughs> you are growling at the wall, my friend. <laughs> well, on that note, <laughs> cheers and see you guys next week, probably at the same place. Get seven C's, not Corona. <laughs> Thank you.